Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Thursday the 15th of March, the local media headlines today. There could be a bit more news about that Cornwall Council delegation to the south of France when the chief executive of the council addresses a property conference there on the importance of installing infrastructure before allowing residential development. I'm sure the bars and the clubs of Cannes will be empty as all of the delegates pay 100% attention to her contribution. Meanwhile, Radio Cornwall's been getting in on the act with lots of callers to my former colleague Lawrence Reed, suggesting that this trip might not be the best use of Cornish taxpayers' money. Cornwall Reports has heard that the total cost, bearing in mind that the six-strong delegation has still got two more days to go and we haven't seen their out-of-pocket expenses yet, has been budgeted at more than £50,000. Another Cornwall Report story looks at the unfolding excitement, if that's the right word, in the Truro and Falmouth constituency over who the Labour Party might select as its parliamentary candidate. A final decision is due next month. Cornwall Live reported on an accident in south-east Cornwall which saw a hang glider pilot crashing into the cliffs near Loo. It happened above Freethy Beach and remarkably the pilot wasn't badly hurt. He was rescued by the RNLI and Coast Guard teams. The Falmouth packet has the names of those who will be leading this year's Flora Dance at Helston. The Cornish Times reports how St Martin's Primary School at Liscard has had a match funding cheque worth £1,000 from the Santander Bank. And finally, the Buden Stratton Post covered the Crufts Dog Show with news that a local Hungarian Pumi won the Best in Breed award. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.